Hey YouTube, this is my uh, Lion Steel collection, August uh, 2017. All right, first up is the SR2 Sleetner Steel Aluminum Handles uh, Integral Construction, as in one piece milled. Uh, great little knife. I carry this a lot. This is a great little EDC blade. Um, it's got this. Uh, this lock feature that supposedly uh, would they call it uh, convert it to a fixed blade but uh, I don't know how much I actually trust that um, at first I didn't know about this feature I just thought this had hellacious lock stick because <laughs> this is actually kind of loose that's one uh, ding on this knife but uh, other than that I really like it deep pocket clip um, Nick Shabazz has a great review on this. Uh, go over to his channel and check it out. Uh, I don't post links or anything, but uh, you can find it. Great knife. Perfect EDC size. But again, that thing. Good centering. Cool knife. Uh, next up, the SR1s. have two of these. Uh, this is a big brother of that one. This is the orange aluminum uh, D2 tool steel. Um, same lock feature. Uh, that might be a little loud. Uh, again, uh, good, good centering. Gonna use a little wrist to get her, but uh, the D10 on these is a little suspect. I can sometimes. I don't know if, if you saw that, but let me try it again. There it goes. Yeah, off camera, of course. One more time. There it goes, on camera. So the D tent's a little suspect. Um, can't do that on a small one, but these big ones you can. Uh, the other one is uh, green aluminum, but it's got the uh, coated blade. Don't carry the big ones much. Carry the little one, though. Uh, next up is the Opera. Big Opera. D2 and the G10. Again, a coated blade. Lock back. Good centering. Can you see that? Uh, you can't really tell. Um, tip down pocket clip, which kind of sucks. I don't know why knife companies do that. But uh, flips pretty good. Don't carry this one much. Uh, actually, probably could get rid of this knife. Uh, I think I might sell it. Uh, next up, the uh, TRE Flipper M390 Steel G10 and uh, Titanium. Good little EDC knife. Not the best flipper. You gotta put a little wrist to it. And this one probably needs oiled up. Nice rounded spine on the uh, on the blade. Uh, kind of an interesting backspacer. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, cool little knife. You know, good milling. Frame lock. Don't know if that's an insert or a detent. Uh, oh, pricing. Okay, uh, about 150, 175, 175, 115, uh, about 190, and this bad boy, about uh, 330. This is the uh, tie spine, uh, L Max blade, and uh, anodized titanium uh, uh, integral. Is that integral? I think it is. Integral milled uh, handle. Ah, this is a gorgeous knife. If you can see, we'll see that. Uh, pricey. And uh, because of the price, I don't really carry this one much. Um, if I'm going to carry an expensive knife, it'll be a Sabenza or, uh, or something of like that. It'll maybe a Hinderer or something, but... Uh, 
That is just gorgeous. But anyways, those are the... Uh, what a little stick there. Those are the Lion Spies. Uh, next up will be uh, Real Steel. All right, see ya.